Hier auf der Interby in Tokio stellt Grass Valley Edios 8.3 vor. Wir haben mit dem Produktmanager Alex gesprochen. Uh, we are very close to Interby in the in the hotel next door where Grass Valley is showing the whole lineup, uh, the cameras and the newsroom integration. And I have Alex, uh, the product manager of Edius, mm -hmm. here with me today. And um, yeah, I will ask him some tricky questions about uh, Interby and mm -hmm. the latest news. So what version of Edius are you showing here? Uh, so we just launched version 8.3. Yeah. It's up on the web uh, yesterday, I think, um, with the uh, new functionalities. Well, we already mentioned most of the functions at uh, IBC, um, but uh, yeah, we were able to ship out with the functionalities that we have mentioned there. Yeah. So the new functions um, would uh, uh, include um, uh, functions like the high quality slow motion, um, also functions like uh, the new um, multiple proxy formats. Now you can create like HD and SD size proxies instead of the old um, uh, smaller size uh, proxies. Um, also updates on the uh, GV browser software yeah. and also the functionality, um, the new primary color correction filter has been updated to support more uh, camera LUTs, LUT formats. And also one question which we uh, got very often in, in the port area, why cannot I burn a ah, DVD yes. or Blu-ray from a project yes, yes. which due is not Blu-ray or DVD conform? Yes. Now it's possible. Yeah, due to the, how do you say, um, demand from customers, um, we were able to provide new function to export to DVD and Blu-ray from non-DVD Blu-ray uh, project settings. Yeah. yeah. And um, of course, the main feature was optical flow. Yep. So you, you name uh, the, the possibility to make um, to, to make uh, slow motion videos uh, in a higher quality. Yes. But um, I also see that uh, with this function, you have a perfect solution. If you use different frame rates in a timeline, uh, they will get converted automatically if you choose optical flow? Yes, so well actually you can choose whether or not to use optical flow yeah. or the current, uh, the, the past method of doing just, uh, how do you say, uh, frame, blending. frame blending between yeah. um, two frames. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it'll allow you to choose um, the formats um, based on what, what type of clip you're using and uh, what type of result you would want. When I was testing it for the first time, uh, I s uh, put a clip in the timeline and then I, I, I choose optical flow. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how can I render it? Mm -hmm. But I didn't need to render. Yeah. I just press play and yes. it just was there. Yeah. How did you do that? Because I think there's no software in the market who is able to do this kind of real-time frame rate conversion with optical flow. Yeah, so optical flow is already a known technology and it's been around for years, but uh, our job was to optimize it to fit the ADIUS workflow where everything needs to work in real time and you need to get the results right there. So that was our that was our challenge. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I would say well done. <laughs> and um, yeah, we also provided a small podcast where we show the new functionality, so the, the new features. And uh, well, here at Interby, uh, when we walked around uh, at f to different booths, we could see uh, th that in many areas, Edios was presented uh, together in a solution. Can you name some of yeah, other manufacturers who are integrating or using Edios? So yeah, um, we are we have a very good presence in Japan, obviously, because we used to be, a, you know, manufacturing was based in Japan, and we've been um, shipping things since the Konopus day. So we have very much, how do you say, royal customers and good, how do you say, um, partners here that uh, are, you know, um, that we work together with. So yeah. um, some of the, how do you say, major partners um, include like large companies like um, Dell, HP, Amazon, um, also the big like Japanese system integrators yeah. um, have uh, Edios systems uh, showing in their sis uh, showing at their booths. Also there's camera manufacturers like Canon who's showing an Edios demo at the booth. Also many plug-in companies, some may be familiar um, to you guys too, but uh, yeah, companies like, uh, uh, how do you say, um, Boris um, also, uh, several local uh, Japanese title customers, mm -hmm. also filtering, filter companies, um, ISP creating the Robust Key. Yeah. They're showing Edius um, together with their products uh, at their booths. 
Yeah. I was um, yeah amazed to see that Amazon is presenting Edius. Can you talk a little bit about this? So Amazon Web Services, what do they do with Edius? Yeah, well, actually, so um, uh, Amazon just announced a new platform of uh, virtual workspaces in their Amazon Cloud, okay. which allow higher functionality in graphics capabilities, oh, okay. and which actually Edius kind of fits perfectly. So this is still just a technology demo. We don't yeah. have a product um, okay. for the Amazon Cloud yet, yeah. but uh, we're showing a technology demo having Edius running on their virtual workspace okay. in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Actually, and uh, as a client, they're running. it's running on a Mac. Okay. So it's connected via their original IP protocol to the workspace in the web, which is running Windows. Okay. But you can have like a virtual desktop mm. in like a Mac machine or Windows machine or like a, even like a tablet. Yeah. And you can control Edius from there and you see very, very good performance. Okay. So we've tested in the past. It didn't really work as well. Yeah. But now with their new uh, gra uh, graphic capable platform, mm -hmm. it allows us to pretty much have the same feeling as you're editing locally, having Edius running on the cloud. So it is a very interesting technology and something very exciting for us to yeah. see in the future. Yeah, there was some demand about a solution like this and yeah, now it's there. Yeah, of, <laughs> yeah, of course, um, everybody's interested about doing things on the cloud. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of issues we still need to solve. Okay. So how we provide it, also what, what do you do with the video source, how do you get it up on the cloud, there's all yeah. these things that we still need to solve. Okay. But, um, how do you say? It's a start. It's a start, <laughs> and it's a very good start at that. We've seen very good feedback from yeah. customers and uh, very excited voices also from like the press. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy uh, the rest of the interview. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You.